Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. Coming up from the 29th of May 2018 is the awesome audio gear giveaway honoring 25 years of Adobe Audition. Your chance to win thousands of dollars worth of audio equipment. If you'd like a chance to win, register your interest now over at mrc.fm slash giveaway. That is mrc.fm slash giveaway. Between now and leading up to the start of the contest, I'll be replaying some of the best content from my Mike Russell VIP channel, a channel that was retired when YouTube stopped paid channels. So loads of content for you to enjoy. Enjoy this video now from Mike Russell VIP. Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. This week I'm working in Adobe Premiere Pro up there, and I'm also working in Adobe Audition over there. Later this week, I'll show you how to master some audio once you've completed it, you're happy with the sound, and you just want to add a little bit of extra sparkle. But in this video, I'll show you a little hack for when you've already been provided an audio track with a voiceover, but the voiceover has to be redone, and you need to match the timing of that voiceover pretty much exactly. How are you going to do that? Let's find out. It's super simple when you're in the multi-track view of Adobe Audition. So here we go. Here's track one. This is actually the original audio from the video I'm working on uh, that I've extracted from the video. Really easy to do in Adobe Audition. You simply just drag the video file in and it will just rip out literally the audio, which is all I need. So let's listen. Here's the, uh, the first line. The problem is overcrowding on trains and stations. Okay, the problem is overcrowding on trains and stations. There's the, uh, there's the line, there's the length. Now, the issue I have, as you may know if you watch a lot of my videos, is I'm an extremely fast talker, and uh, this particular voice is a little slower than the pace I would usually go at. So let's look. The full video is just over two minutes in duration. If I was to read this from a script, I would probably have it done in one minute 30 seconds which is no good when you're syncing audio to an explainer video. So let me show you now how I would sync up with the voice. So here we go, I've isolated the first line. The problem is overcrowding on trains and stations. Okay, I've got to match up that exact amount of time, which as we can see down here is three seconds and 22 milliseconds. Right, okay. Um, let's go to track two. Now, first of all, I'll arm this to record like so. Hello, hello, hello. And I think this is going to be on my, my big microphone over here. Here we go. And I am going to say that line into that time space as best as I can. So I might just pull out the, um, the selection a little bit and then hit record. And I'm going to record as best as I can to match up with the line. The, the problem, problem is, is overcrowding, overcrowding at trains, trains and, and stations. stations. Now, there you go. You can see the first track has been recorded in pretty much matching up, although I was a little distracted by hearing the original voiceover in my headphones. So I'll delete that. I'll reselect the place I need to record, and I'm going to mute track one and try again. The problem is overcrowding at trains and stations. There we go. A little bit of adjustment, and I have exactly synced my voice with the original voice. Now I would simply rinse and repeat going through the whole audio doing the same process. Let's listen to the next line. The issue is partly due to high-rise buildings and the nine to five work pattern. Okay, so now I'm just simply going to drag this in a little bit and select this section here and say that line, mute and record. The issue is partly due to high-rise buildings and the nine to five work pattern. There we go, stop the recording, match it up, and as you can see, I'm nicely syncing. Now I've only got two minutes worth of audio left to complete, but as you can see, it is super simple using that very simple trick, arming one track to record, listening on the other track, and repeating bit by bit the voiceover from the original video. You'll find you can time sync to pretty much anything in Adobe Audition. I hope you enjoyed this effect. There you go, a video from my retired Mike Russell VIP channel. Hope you enjoyed it and got some value from it. And if you'd like to get involved with the awesome audio gear giveaway honoring 25 years of Adobe Audition, get your interest registered now over at mrc.fm slash giveaway.